Pembrai Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial on this channel. So today's tutorial will be, I'll be showing you how to draft this particular gown. Okay, the gown you are seeing on the thumbnail right there. So I'm going to start right from the scratch to draft. And I'm using a small scale drafting to do this as well. So once you are making yours, please ensure you use your accurate measurements and follow video instructions if you actually want to get this gown accordingly. All right, so I have my border lines and that is what I'm making right there. Very important. This is my center front and this is my shoulder line, okay? So I'm going to, uh, what we are making here is a dartless gown, okay? There is no dart to it. So it's actually uh, a sort of uh, butterfly gown, uh, as you can see. So the measurements I need here, the vertical measurements I need here is practically my chest line. I need my chest line. I need my waist measurement. I need my hip measurement. And then finally, the full length of this gown. So this is my chest line and this is my waist line, this is my hip line and this is the full length of this gown and this is my center front line. So I'm going to draft a full fitted bodice first, then we'll start to alterate this pattern. So I'm imputing my uh, neckline right here, my natural neckline. Then you can go ahead and alter your neckline the way you want. So my natural neckline for this small scale, I've already imputed it. And my shoulder divided by two, I've already imputed it. I'll transfer it to the chest line. I'll drop my shoulder by one inch. I'll slide my shoulder line. I'll create my armhole. But for the armhole, I'm going to keep it pending because of the type of sleeve we have right there. Okay, but I'm going to mark out what I have on the bust area. So what I have on the bust area, that is my bust measurement. I'm going to impute that. My waist measurement, I'm going to impute that. My hip measurement, I'll impute it. And I'll take my hip measurement to the hem. So once I take it to the hem, I'm going to rule a straight line. I'll come in with my pattern ruler for my hip to waist. I'm going to connect hip to waist and I'm going to connect bust to waist. And then I'll leave it at this. Like I said, I'm not making an armhole to it. So it's time for us to start alterating. This is our chest line. This is the waist. And this is the hip. All right, so it's time for us to start altering what we have on this pattern. So the first alteration I'm going to make is the extension of what I have on the uh, on the arm measurement. Okay, so the arm measurement, as you can see, from the shoulder line to the elbow. Okay, it's actually at the elbow. So I'm going to make use of what I have here, 11 inches, but the elbow is usually at 12, 13 inches. So I'll just make use of 11 inches. And the next thing I want to do is to come over to the hip. Okay, I'm going to come down. Let me say this is my knee. So if this is your knee line, okay, just come up by three inches from the knee line. So I pretend using this as my three inches from the knee line, okay, for this connection. Like I said, it's actually a butterfly dress. So I'm just going to do this. You have to be creative at this point. Can you see? I'm just going to do this. You can see what I'm doing. That is exactly what we have right there. Okay? So you have to design it the way you want. If you don't want to give it these curves, you can go ahead and do this and round it up. Okay? You can go and it gives you the same thing. Okay? Just round it up into the three inches above the knee line. So that is what we have on the thumbnail. So I'll come to the waist now to make my design. 